Hi guys, welcome to the review of the TiVo Tornado 3D printer. As many of you know, I have this printer for a few weeks now and I've been using it mostly non-stop. I'm at a point I can give my honest review about it. So let's start. Packing. The packing was amazing. Everything was extremely well packed and all the parts secured. Inside the package you can find included an extra bad surface. Assembly. The assembly was super easy to do. This printer can be assembled and ready to print in just a few minutes. One thing regarding the assembly that I dislike is the length of the Z and stop cable. I read that TiVo is replacing this short cable with a longer one, so it might be included in future batches. Thumbs up for TiVo on that one. Factory test print. One thing I love is that the TiVo Tornado 3D printer is assembled and tested at the factory. They run a test print and they deliver the printer with that test print still on the heat bed. Dialing in the printer. I had no major issues to dial in this printer. I used the same profile I used with the Black Widow and adjusted the traction a little bit and that was it. Controller. Inside the controller we have an MKS base version 1.4 board. This is the same board used with the tarantula. Inside the controller you can see that all the connections are well made and ferrules or ring terminals were used all around. The power supply is a 24 volt which is great but is not a high current output model. It's just an 8.5 amp output power supply. This is because the heat bed is not powered by the power supply. The heat bed is AC powered and controlled with a solid state relay. This is actually one of the things this printer has better than the CR10. This allows the heat bed to heat up extremely fast. In terms of noise, this printer is not loud. I have it printing next to me in my living room and does not bother me one bit. The biggest noise comes from the fans inside the controller, but only when they are working at full blast. These fans are controlled, which means that they only turn at the needed speed, which helps to reduce the noise a lot. The hot end fan, on the other hand, is not noisy and only turns when the hot end reaches the temperature of 50 degrees C. As for the layer cooling fan, you can only tell that it is working by looking at it. Super stable Y carriage. This printer is all metal and the Y carriage is a 4 mm thick metal plate. The Y carriage is very very stable. The heat bed is made of some type of glass material and it's very very flat and stable. The heat distribution is actually very very good on this one. The stability is amazing and the leveling stays consistent for a long time. I have this printer for a few weeks now and I have been printing with it mostly non-stop and I only had to level it when I assemble it, so that's very good. At the beginning I pointed to the Y-axis motor mount which flexes a bit but that was never an issue with the print quality. After dialing in the printer, I made lots and lots of prints with it. The quality is amazing. Most of you wonder about the print quality regarding the Z because the printer is equipped with a single Z motor and lead screw but I can tell you that there is no Z related printing issues. The surfaces are good and the final quality is excellent. There is only one issue regarding the print quality and it's related with the famous salmon skin. While printing toe parts, I can see the salmon skin clearly. 
Because the tornado is using an MKS base ward, the drivers cannot be replaced, so I guess that the solution might be using some smoothers to eliminate this pattern. I also had a few issues related with the shift layers in some parts and always in the Y axis, but this issue was easily fixed after analyzing the output current of the Y axis driver. The VREF of my Y axis driver was set too low. Adjusting that fixed the problem and I no longer had any layer shifts in my prints. Even printing at high speeds and challenging models, the printer stood up for the job. After many and many printing hours, this printer shows that it is a workhorse. No issues with clogs, heating, leveling, nothing. Just load the filament and hit print. The extruder used is the Titan extruder and this extruder is awesome. The only thing I have to point out is the position of it. The handle is too close to the lead screw, which can make the user to get the fingers dirty if touches the greased lead screw. And the tension screw is not accessible, but I can understand why it was assembled this way. And it's for the PTFE tube to be with a better orientation towards the hot end. And as you remember, this printer was already tested at the factory, so in theory, you would not need to adjust the tension. Firmware. The firmware used is a custom Marlin version 1.1.4. It has some cool features available like the custom commands for the manual leveling and the baby stepping adjustments. The only thing that is missing is to save to a prompt. This feature, for me, it's a must. CR10 Comparison Many of you are very interested in knowing which one is the best the Tivor Tornado or the Creality CR10. I don't have a CR10 to compare the print quality, but there were already some users that ran some test prints and did this comparison. Regarding the print quality, they all reported that the both machines print very good, and it's actually very hard to choose one in this matter. Regarding everything else, I can see by myself and I have my opinion. And personally, if I analyze and compare both printers, the TiVo for me wins. Thanks for the extra features like the SSR controlled AC and glass made heat bed, the Titan extruder, the test print done at the factory and especially the smaller controller box. The TiVo Tornado is being sold at a price of 355 euros, shipping included. So the bottom line is exactly what you see. The Tivo Tornado is in fact an awesome 3D printer at an amazing price. The print quality is amazing and after all this many printing hours it's running like a champ. The Tivo Tornado has my vote. This was my review guys, hope you like it. You can check in the video description all the links for the previous videos I made with this printer. If I have more things to add, I will definitely post new videos. Thanks for watching guys, bye!